What's going on guys, Vizais here and today I want to announce a very nice project that I will be starting 200 pin climbers 8 carry to diamond 4. The reason why I'm making this challenge is to prove to myself and other people that no matter what rank you have, what PC or setup you have or ping, you can improve in this game and see results in terms of the climb too. Remember that what you're seeing right now is a premium personalized coaching session. This guy booked his coaching with me when he was hard stuck in silver 2 with around 45% win rate. Right now after around 2 weeks he climbed instantly to gold 2 just from one coaching session. This is another person that climbed from platinum to master tier with my coaching. Here is another guy gold to master tier currently actually pushing for grandmaster with my coaching are you tired of feeling stuck in your current rank and unable to climb the ladder or do you find yourself struggling to convert winning games and make progress if you're serious about improving league of legends and you want to get your gameplay to the next level go ahead and book your own personalized coaching session and start instantly i'll see you in the session what should i ban here i mean i don't like to ban anything really but i guess i can ban like yasuo or something yeah, this is kind of annoying. I don't think... I mean, I could ban Draven as well, but I could also play Draven though. I, I don't know if Draven is good 200 ping, but from my testing, it was... The thing is, you can never say... What I realize... Oh my god, I have the most useless support in the game, Shaco. What I realize is that it's like really hard to like say like what champions are good at 200 ping and what champions are bad, unless you try it. Because I tried Zai, I tried Draven, I tried... And they, they sound very, very bad at 200 ping. But they're actually not that bad. They are bad-ish, especially Zaya, but Draven is actually Draven can work. So I feel like it's so important to like test the things. Like even though you have assumption, you say okay, this you know this is like Kaisa is a good champ or like Kaisa is a good champ with 200 ping. Like just try it, man. Just try it. Just try it, because you never know. You never know. You never know. Like you have to. Okay, so they have Kaisa Cyan. I mean, I guess Kaisa like to play MF, but I guess Sign, if it's gonna be tank, you don't pick MF, right? Because KMF is like bad into tanks, but I can maybe you can just go Lord Dominic and it can be okay, especially because I have Cassiopeia on mid lane and Camille that does a little bit of damage as well to tanks. So I think MF is like, I don't think I can get wrong with MF, even though in this specific case, I think Varus is also like really, really good against Evelyn because Evelyn's gonna go on me and just ulti him instantly. Ulti her instantly, sorry. Uh, but the MF into tanks is kind of easy, but I have Cassiopeia, so it's fine. I also have like Shaco, which is like the most useless supporting him. I don't know if you should go MFUG. I should go to first strike maybe, maybe. They might have tanks though, so. I'm not really sure though. Because if they have tanks, don't I need PTA? I never tried first strike, so I'll try it right now. PTA looks fine, but maybe first strike is even better. It's Kaisa Rakan, so it's like kind of useless, even though they have Tristana. I think it's Tristana made because he bans Z. I'm not gonna go Ghost on MF. I think with 200 ping, you go up heal or something. Because the 200 ping are not going to be able to like abuse the ghost that much in my opinion. Yeah, I'll just go heal here. Are you going to dodge again or what? Imagine bro, imagine. I do love free wins although I'm not learning much then. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, I learned, of course. It is normal to lose most games where you have a bad lane. Like I played Vayne and Draven, did not die once but the support died open. And so he had big lead but I feel like that's anyways against Draven so I picked bad ATK into him. I mean, in what rank, Sneaky? In what rank do you do you mean? If you're talking about challenger, it's normal. If you're talking anything below master tier, it's not normal. You're probably doing something wrong. Because if your support dies, there are many situations when you can trade back one or you can trade back or... But if you just let him die, I mean, it's bad. Like, it's really important for you to like, when he goes in and you think it's like bad, you should like make sure he you try to find the balance between ignoring him completely and not ignoring him. Like I don't say to follow him, but I don't say to ignore him. So you have to kind of stay in the middle. Maybe you can get a few auto attacks right before he dies. And yeah, there are situations. There are situations when, when that happens, but you don't have to completely ignore him, you know? So yeah. Blood Diamond, yeah, it could happen. Yeah, I, I recommend you if you have this problem like a lot, to try to book like one board review or something or a coaching session, because I can tell you exactly what you're doing wrong with that. And it's super easy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I go. I could go long for three pots here actually, if I think about it. Because I'm just gonna go non quiver like faster. Some people go Dust Blade on her first, but I think he almost is better with high ping. Because I can just use it to get faster in the lane if something happens. But maybe Dust Blade is good as well. Maybe I should try it. But first, I'm just gonna try first strike. 
I'm just gonna fix that like a sec. Okay, no one is covering on the both side angles, so I should just cover there. I don't know why you would ever go Rakan with Aftershock, because you... Aftershock you go on champions that need a bit of tankiness. Especially against melee champions like Alistar or Nautilus, but the thing is on Rakan you don't need it anyways, because on Rakan you have WE and you're, like, you're so mobile that they're not really gonna like get you, I think. He's gonna just fall, like he's just gonna start there. He's just gonna start there. I wanna start Q for sure. Morning, Kaji! Welcome, welcome, I would see you. Welcome, 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 morning, welcome. Nice, okay, so they have heal, which is good against MF Shaco. I mean, maybe against these two champs, Exhaust is better, but they took heal for the lane, which is better. Because it doesn't matter if you have Exhaust for the lane, but you lose the lane. Better take his summon spell for the lane, though. Okay, I have 190 ping, though. It's perfect. Um, WQ, I'll go Q for sure. I'm gonna look to like push just a bit so I can get some prior but not much. My jungle gives me an advantage by just not leashing. I can probably just stay here. Okay, he has bomb plating on Rakan. This is like very, very interesting indeed. I think that he actually takes the bait here. Pretty decent actually. I'm just gonna queue here, I have to hit something. Alright, oh, I hit a minion. With any any support she's gonna be like really low HP. Okay, I like it. I like first track. I'm already more than PTA. Maybe in all in lanes PTA is better. Okay, I'm just gonna look to punish the Q here. There is no way you can do this bro with Kaisa. There's no way you do this with Kaisa, what the fuck? She really trades like this when I have three potions. It's a bit insane, isn't it? This guy says like really greedy. Maybe she's jungle main or something, because she plays like really... Like really... Forward. Just walk up, you don't need to do anything, but just walk up. This guy says definitely what to feel. When I woke up she doesn't back up at all. Gonna be a bit ahead this yes. Yeah definitely I like uh, Q Max. I don't know where he's Evelyn but she's gonna do full clear, she's Evelyn most likely. Nice. I think my Q actually hits okay keep in this top lane. Can you ignite? I can flash. If he Q ignites, I can just flash on them. But why is Jacob just staying behind like this? This behind. He can stay behind, but not like this behind. Really good. He just needs to walk up, that's all. But how can he walk up like this? Like she walks up and she, she gets like <laughs> she gets poked the same way, bro. Like she really needs to consider giving up some minions. I'm just gonna focus to get all of the minions, I'll just use potion, even if I stop. I'm gonna look to queue here with Rakan. I don't wanna. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna die there instantly. I'm gonna die there. Ooh, Rakan just saved. I lost the cannon, but I also lost the cannon. It's like the experience, my bad. Could like stay on it. Wave is coming to me, there is no reason to push, my bad. I think I'll just recall here. Wave is coming to me, and I definitely can't push this. Nice. I'll just reset here. I have the, the item for sure, so it's fine. Wave is not gonna crash either way. Like pretty good. Yeah, this is really, really good. That's really, really, really good recall here. Yeah, if I didn't really stop the targets there, I can kill him. My bad. Good job support. My bad. I'll just defend. Uh, it is possible to review, let's say, in one hour, three early game, early game lane phase, or like in the lane, or what do you think is it's bad? I think it's fine. I think it's fine, thank you. I think it's okay. Yeah, for sure. As long as you prepare three games. I do bother you, I think it's really good. I will use a potion here, I can freeze because the next wave is actually close to me. And guys, I should not be here yet. Really good. There are ma too many minions here, so I need to kill some. Just gonna look to play it slow. Don't wanna kill them like too fast. I guess I can also use E though. Holy shit. <laughs> Must be super annoying for her to play though. I 
like a lot of minions advantage here. 15 minutes advantage at this point is like really good. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I will just play it as, as good as I can. I have AFK support anyway. Like Shaco is a like Shaco and Bard, they are like the worst support in the game, really. Ooh, missed the cannon. That is not good. He doesn't know that I have heal. Please, Shaco, do something, bro. <laughs> do something, bro. You're so useless, bro. I'm dead here. Yeah. You are so useless, bro. So proud of this champ. My bad. Could play better. I used too much mana on the minions. At least I didn't get killed. My bad. If I if I Q the minions better before, I didn't waste my Q on the minions. It would have been really good. My bad. My bad. I really hate Jacob support. It's so garbage, bro. So garbage. Bard, shake. I mean, Bard is whatever. Bard is okay. Shake will have to be like. Yeah, he's just really useless. You have to be like really good on him. But no, my bad, it's fine. We don't believe support. We mute him and we play. At least, so I'm one level up and Kaiser did not get the kill. It's not that bad. Could be worse. Just gonna play it slow. Just gonna play it slow. Just gonna double it the cannon wave, but I'm, I'm just gonna like double tank it. Yeah, I wanna make sure they don't get the experience as well. Yeah. Okay, he saved me here, he could've just gone on me. I think they missed the cannon. I think I see, did they miss the cannon? I will heal, but yeah, I'm dead. Okay, we didn't... She actually was here, wow. At least I dodged the Dracan W. Yeah, I should've expected that, my bad. It's kinda obvious. You also started a new account? Yeah, what do you mean I also started a new account? When I see I have Shaco support, I know it's likely to lose games since I will have a bad lane. Yeah, but lane is not everything really. I'm only 12 13 games in on mine. Wait, 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 so I don't understand. How does this. What does this having to do with making an account to get diamond on it? We might end up facing each other? Yeah, maybe, but. I think the MMR could be a little different. Yeah, my bad, I shouldn't really die two times. My bad, I should expect it. I should expect level 6 in that case. Okay, should I move there? I mean, like, it's too far. Yeah, it's too far for now. I'm gonna miss the cannon at least. Oh, now, now it's not too far because he ulted. Can you go over the wall? Uh, definitely. <laughs> Imagine if you have a note to just draw or anything. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just focus. Maybe I could fight, fight it like earlier. Okay, at least I got one, but the wave is very bad. If I kind of push this, yeah. I can't just stay here. The wave is gonna crash, it's too so big. He, sh he should stay and freeze. If he recalls, it's really bad. He should stay and freeze. Yeah, this is good, I think. I got the shutdown? No, not really. Yeah, I can't stay, he's good. Mm, I could play better there, I think, with the ulti maybe. She had the ulti there, she ulted do it. Let's say your Shaco dies for free against Trash Draven. But, okay. Uh, we're gonna focus on the chat after, guys. Okay, this wave is bad, I need to just go on it. I mean, the cannon is probably gonna die here. Ooh, they're pushing, they're not freezing. Oh, crap, that is good. And I don't know what is evening though. Please. Oh. Evelyn is definitely here, don't you? We don't have any pink words, I should have bought the pink word against Evelyn. Okay, if I come back, we know for sure Evelyn is not here. Wave is coming to me. So useful, bro. Maybe this guy is aggressive because he's just aggressive, not because Evelyn is here. Nah, but I need to respect. Yeah, okay, he's pushing. I'll just keep the lane here. Please. I'm not gonna E for that 80 mana. I'll keep the wave here. 
900 gold. I don't know what is Evelyn. Top is kind of winning. Yeah, I bet three times for no reason here, so I have to just be useful this game. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I have to play a bit safer, I guess, with Shaco. A bit more. Conceive a bit more. Okay. Just gonna take W of the Kaiser, she's gonna use it here. I need to push this, I have the item in base. The evening could be around. Okay, evening is top lane, I'm just gonna start pushing here. They do have the item, but I also have the item. Yeah, definitely easy fight, bro. Okay, decent, I mean. Not that bad, could have been worse. Ooh, gonna die as well. I should have played it slow. Does he have heal? Ah, okay. It's fine, just push the wave. Yeah, just push the wave, it's fine. Could have been worse. Did they died. Hmm. It's gonna be a hard game. Let's make top uh, getting obliterated. Yeah, my bad skin could play much better. Let's see if Shaka dies for free against Thresh. And when he's dead, he can also zone you from Adan against Rakan. Kaisa early on is not a bad thing. I mean, if you have good wave management, there are still ways to play. But yes, there are, there are situations that are hard to play. But usually, in like, if you play below Master Tier, people won't have the knowledge to like punish you so much that uh, that you have no counterplay very rarely you know you know there is there are places with no counterplay in majority of the cases you can just play better or not better okay wait i just took away bro oh my god this guy doesn't know how to do really yeah but guess what we have shaco the best engaged support in the game <laughs> so no matter if they go in or not he's useless yeah, I should have played a lot uh, safer in the early game though, I think. I'm not safer, but I'm just gonna die. Because now it's gonna be really hard. But I guess that's your play is gonna be useful anyways, the ways. I'll just get Swiftness here. Swiftness is a pink ward. I'm really behind and I hate getting pink ward, but what can you do? I'm just playing against Eve lane, so it's not... It is a risk. We might not physical as in upset and a gun two days ago. And where on mine is D4. Yeah, this this is platinum. I think low platinum, so it's not even close to D4. This is like a ranked account, never had a rank, so very unlikely, but maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm fine here. I actually bought time for two people actually there. Can't really move there too much, now I can. Never gonna be able to do anything. I mean... Yeah, the guy is just going getting top. He's not even playing, he's playing top with Sunfire. Mm, maybe I should actually stay bot, to actually catch the wave. It's gonna be a big shutdown if I get him. Yeah, my champ is like really weak into tanks and he's strong, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be challenging for sure. I'll try to get different minions here. I have no attack speed, but it is what it is. I'll just go towards mid lane. I can't reset top. Never FF losers. Only losers FF. I'll try my best to win this game, even though I'm like not playing good. I'm two levels up on the Kaiser still, so the macro is still better than I was 23 CS ahead. But I died four times, very stupid, my bad though with that. I have to make sure I don't really make mistakes from now on. I'm gonna body block this mini so that it goes lower. It's not like it's gonna matter too much, but wave is gonna slightly push into us if no one is gonna catch it. Kinda scared to get it, but. Yeah, I mean. It's really greedy. Evening could come here. Okay, I see Evening, so. I have R, but Shaco is Shaco, he's like really useless. Very useless. I'll probably ban Shaco from now on, so I don't have it in my team. But I guess he can do some damage if they actually walk up into his double. Ooh. I'm 
fine here. Wow, but this is actually insane. This is really insane that this is happening. It's a shutdown, maybe. Uh, I could have it. Ah, uh, this is insane that no one died there and they chased so much. I guess the... Uh, like the, the guy was just... He was not here, the Camille. Okay. I understand you wanna go in, but sister... I'm not even gonna follow here. Guys, I has ulti probably. Don't play Camille unless you're diamond, bro. Can't really do it. Do I have ulti now? I'm gonna just see almost this game is difficult. I think I can win only if I win the lane. I could be lost the lane, so sounds good. Step two. I don't even know if I should go I mean, is it winnable? I think I mean we have Cassiopeia, it's good into tanks, but Cassiopeia Oh I'm dead. Yeah, Cassiopeia has no hands so it's gonna be hard to win this. Okay, it's got a kill. Should never die here. Yeah, I lost this lane. Not good, not good, not good. Tomorrow I'll review my games, for sure. One hour minimum. See that way I could have done better, or even maybe today. Thank you. Please, can I get the farm? Thank you. It's fine. He actually gave me the farm, bro. Like, I feel like sometimes it's just important to ask for the farm. Wait, why do I get super my bed? Just ask for the farm, bro. Sometimes they will give it to you. Okay. Okay, but now I take her farm. And she gave it to me, so not really. I don't want to do that. We have no engage in this composition. Like zero, zero CC, zero engage. Kind of hard to win. If I win the lane, it will be possible. Okay, I do negative damage. They're also like kind of fully D. Yeah, oh actually it's not fully D what I'm saying. I cast it. I just do it. I heal him. Okay. It's gonna be... I'm gonna hit the minion as well so I can utilize my passive at least. And I'm never gonna win this otherwise. Can't dodge this. Okay. Wait, Rakan has ulti. I can should die there. Ooh, Cassie. Nice. At least he died. They're gonna end GG. My best game. Gotta play much better. Play much better, I'm not gonna go crit. My bad for sure this game. For those of you who are struggling winning and climbing in solo queue but are serious about getting better, I also do coaching for players that want to improve and get their gameplay to the next level. Coaching can't make you better if you just play normals and arms and don't like playing ranked or you don't care about improving, you just play for fun or let's say you just play the game for like 3 hours, maybe 4 hours per week and that's about it, coaching doesn't help you. Coaching can help you if you feel hard stuck, if you struggle carrying games, if you want to stop wasting time autopiloting and not learning anything, if you run into a circle for a long time, if you want to find out the mistakes that hold you back, or simply maybe you have problems with the way you manage, maybe you feel lost throughout the mid game, maybe you struggle with the decision making, macro, and you just want to learn how to do it properly from a professional coach, or let's say you have difficulties checking the enemy jungle and you die a lot to ganks, or simply maybe you just want to learn how to carry one versus nine so you can actually climb and stop really wasting time. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your own coaching now and start improving instantly. I'll see you in the session.